Everybody's talking about making New Year's resolutions. Well, it's the time for New Year resolutions, but often they're quickly abandoned. We do have some new insights for you into why some people stick to their resolutions. If you haven't thought of that New Year's resolution yet, we're here to help. Don't worry. Yeah, New Year, New Me post will flood your social media feeds. Lord help us. It is 2023 and I want to be sure that this year is the last year that you ever set New Year's resolutions. In this video, I'm going to share my top 7 tips for making that happen. Tip number 1 is to set attainable action steps. Every January, I see tons of new faces in the gym, which is great, but so many of these people tend to go really hardcore in the beginning of the year and then they end up getting burnt out after just a few weeks. Instead of taking that approach, set the goal of building consistency with tiny little habits that scale over time. Set really easy, bite-sized action steps that you know you can stick with and then scale up over time. So for example, you could set the goal of going to the gym for just 30 minutes. You could go out for a five minute walk every single day. You can decide to change up your nutrition plan by incorporating a few servings of vegetables throughout the day. There are lots of little but powerful things you can do to start setting yourself up for health and fitness success in 2023. When you're setting your goals in the new year, ask yourself, is this something that I can for sure stick with over the long term? If the answer is no, set more attainable goals. Tip number two is to focus on your standards, not your goals. So in life, I believe that we get our standards, not our goals. Let's take weight loss, for example. You might have the goal to lose 20 pounds, which is a great goal and that's definitely something that you can achieve with some tiny lifestyle changes. However, if you are constantly doing the same things over and over again and viewing food and training in the same way that you have previously, you're not going to accomplish your goal regardless of how crystal clear and well-defined it is. If your goal is weight loss, some great standards to be practicing in your life would be holding yourself to sleeping eight hours every single night, to only drinking water and not drinking any kind of sodas or other high calorie beverages, to making sure that you are moving your body every single day, and also making sure that you are sticking with a nutrition plan that you enjoy and also aligns with your goals. Those are some examples of standards that you can hold yourself to, and standards are what pull you towards your goals. So it's great to have really clearly defined goals, but if you don't have these standards in your life that you constantly practice, then there is no way that you're going to ultimately accomplish those goals. So ask yourself, what habits am I currently practicing that do not align with my goals and the person I ultimately want to become? On the flip side, what habits do I need to start practicing in my life, do I really need to create in my life to ensure that I am pulled closer to my goals, not farther away? Tip number three is to not restrict yourself. We want to practice moderation, not restriction. Remember that your health and fitness journey is a marathon, not a sprint. You're not focusing on the next three weeks or three months, you're focusing on the rest of your life. You have to be honest here and ask yourself, can I really go for the rest of my life without eating that food? Can I really go the rest of my life without ever having that drink? Can I really go the rest of my life focusing on this training program that I put lots of time and energy into at the beginning of the year? If the answer is no, then what do you think is going to happen? It's just a matter of time before you fall off track and you get frustrated because it doesn't feel sustainable and then you end up yo-yoing for the rest of your health and fitness journey. That's why practicing moderation is so important. You can both accomplish your goals while also enjoying your life. Tip number four is to do things you love. Your health and fitness journey should be fun. It should actually be enjoyable. And if it's not, you're doing something wrong. Fitness is not one size fits all. Find a training program that you really enjoy and one that you can stay consistent with. Similarly, you should be following a nutrition plan that you really love. Eating a meal plan or adhering to a diet that contains all the foods you hate just for the sake of seeing results is a recipe for disaster. Following that approach doesn't build the right habits, it also is likely to lead to binging and you're much more likely to gain the weight back and yo-yo over time. So this requires some experimentation, but take the time to invest in your nutrition. You can both find really healthy options that align with your goals, and you can also take less healthy foods that you really enjoy now and make healthier versions of them. 
Tip number five is to find a purposeful why. This goes far beyond just losing weight or building muscle or looking better in the mirror. Your why is the deep reason behind your goals. So ask yourself, why do I wanna lose weight? Why do I wanna build muscle? Why do I wanna have a healthier relationship with food? Why do I wanna change my life? Why do I wanna build confidence and self-belief? Having clear goals gives you a tangible destination, but your why is the fuel that propels you from where you are now to where you wanna be. Having a strong why will help you to create discipline to get things done after that initial motivation fades away after the first few weeks of a new year. Tip number six is to shift your mindset from setting resolutions to creating lifestyle changes. Resolutions are temporary. Ask yourself, who do I ultimately want to be? How do you want your body to look and feel? What kind of example do you want to set for your family and friends? Who do you want to see when you look into the mirror every morning? What is my life going to look like if I keep setting the same goals and never taking action? What do you want your body to be capable of? New Year's resolutions, fad diets, and fast results are all temporary. Build your mindset and habits around long-term sustainable results. Your results might be a little bit slower, but they're also going to last for life. Tip number seven is to get a coach. I am a firm believer that having a coach in your corner to support you along your health and fitness journey is the quickest way to success. Getting the guidance from a coach who has already accomplished what you want to achieve is the best way to cut your learning curve. It guarantees that you're going to get to your goals faster with far less frustration. Having daily accountability and support is crucial for unlocking your potential. But it's really important to make sure that you get the right coach. Our team has worked one-on-one -on -one with over 1,300 vegans from around the world, and lots of our clients have expressed frustrations in working with previous coaches who didn't really listen to their needs, didn't really care about them and support them in a way that aligned with their goals, and also just gave them cookie-cutter programs that didn't actually fit into their lifestyle. That's why investing into a coach who truly cares about you and your goals is one of the best decisions that you can make in your health and fitness journey. Our online coaching program, the Vegan Superhero Academy, is the highest rated vegan fitness coaching program in the world. If you wanna learn more about our program and how we work with our clients, you can check out thevegangym.com. So I know it's tempting to wanna to set resolutions and get quick results, but that's not gonna change your life long-term. So I hope that you can use the tips in this video to make true lifestyle changes, and I wish you all the best in the new year. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.